Axle Tank Warriors. This is Zip Zip, and I'm going to do a quick dual review here uh, for the Valentine 2 Tier 4 Premium and the German Light Tank T15, which is a Tier 3 Premium. Starting with the Valentine here, I'll tell you straight up that it has preferential matchmaking, so you're always top tier in every single battle. Which is a good thing because the uh, Valentine has a tier 2 gun. Um, surprisingly decent penetration still. Um, low damage output though. But uh, the penetration is okay against most opponents. Not to mention a great rate of fire. The gun also has a great negative 10 degrees of gun depression. The Valentine 2 has a great armor profile. And it's really only at the rear of the tank that anybody can give you any real trouble so in that way it's a little bit like a Matilda but unlike a Matilda it has pretty good acceleration a low top speed but it is faster than the Matilda I'm just going to speed things up now to show you what you would do if you encounter Matilda which is really the toughest competition for this tank at tier 4 you definitely have to carry some premium ammunition on this tank for the Matildas and the Hetzers and the M3 Lees that you'll encounter at Tier 4. Notice I switched the premium ammunition right away. I know that the regular AP isn't going to cut it here. While I'm in a good spot right now to penetrate him, uh, in just a few seconds I know he's going to start paying attention to me so I decide to instead of sit here and trade shots I'm going to get mobile and start trying to circle this guy. You'll see me take a hit here. I'm not angled at my best going up over the hill here, but as soon as I get my nose down, you'll see that he's going to bounce his shot, and now I'm in a better spot to try and start shooting him. Beware that back deck when you're trying to shoot on level ground. You have to be above to be able to penetrate that. Square on to the sides. The APCR can penetrate the Matilda, but even the slightest bit of angling and you're going to miss that shot so do be careful probably the only thing I find frustrating with the Valentine 2 is really the low damage per shot I don't really have any big complaints about the tank other than that I'm getting really low on APCR here so I decided to switch over to AP again here and see if I can get some shots into his squishy parts here but there really isn't any squishy parts for AP to penetrate. So I screw up a little bit here. I'm not paying enough attention. I let my gun shoot upper a little bit instead of lower on the back and some of my APCR bounces and I'm left in a position where I'm not going to have any APCR but I still have a fighting Matilda to deal with. Once I'm left with no more APCR, the only way I can really penetrate this Matilda is from above. Luckily, with negative 10 degrees of gun depression and some hills nearby, I'll be able to do that. Valentines are really hard to circle for an opponent because of the great traverse. You can see here as I traverse around, very, very quick. Now I'm going to hurry up the hill to get the angle and boom, got him. All in all, I do like the Valentine. Uh, I don't think it's worth the regular price in gold, but certainly when it goes on sale, it's a tank that uh, earns decent enough, uh, even if you have to use premium ammunition. Uh, if you don't use premium ammunition, it actually uh, does very, very well for credit earning for its tier. The T15, on the other hand, is a different animal altogether. It doesn't have preferential matchmaking. It has no armor. What it does have is decent camo and very fast speed. Being a light tank as well means that it retains its stationary camo value on the move. So you can drive around and it's as if the tank was standing still as far as your camo rating is concerned. The T-15 also boasts a 240 meter viewing range uh, which is really outstanding for tier 3. I've got the camo net and the periscope binoculars on my T-15 and because of that it's a great scout tank. I can really spot up the enemies uh, so we know where they are. I can even move and jockey around a little bit. As long as I don't shoot nobody should spot me unless they get within 50 meters. 
The gun handling is pretty good on the T-15 as well. Uh, it's got pretty decent uh, gun depression, it's got uh, low dispersion, good penetration, and some actual decent damage for Tier 3. With a decent reload speed, the T-15 can actually output some pretty good damage per minute, and uh, if you have a pretty good game, it earns pretty well because of it too. Ordinarily I would duck back in between shots just to avoid getting shot, but I know that auto cannon there doesn't have a lot of accuracy at range and I'd rather get rid of him so I could start working on the next tank right away. All in all, I do enjoy playing the T-15. It's a load of fun. Uh, it's a fast tank, accelerates well. That's probably one of its uh, uh, most fun aspects. Uh, I've hit uh, 70 km per hour going downhill. Uh, I usually do about 35, as high as 40 going uphill, depending on how steep the hill is. And on level ground, I usually hit 60 pretty easy. I decide to move up here and shoot this T-46 in the back, help my teammate out. And uh, as soon as he starts backing up on that hill, I know I don't have to pull back anymore, because as he's on the move, he will not be able to hit me accurately with that gun. Enemy vehicle knocked out! Right here you'll see that negative 10 degrees of gun depression in action. I get the gun on target very quickly up over the hill. Somebody else got the kill, but that's okay. And as I come around here, I can shoot down the hill very, very easily. All in all, I feel the T-15 plays kind of like a Tier 10 Leopard 1. Um, quick, maneuverable, stealthy, uh, great viewing range, uh, good penetration on the gun. Uh, you can get both into and out of trouble very quickly. You could almost consider the T-15 uh, sort of like a trainer for those upper tier, uh, very thinly armored tanks that are highly mobile. The added bonus too is that a decent game will earn you some pretty good credits as well, uh, for its tier of course, but uh, it's always fun to be practicing things and still earning some good uh, in-game credits. Notice here as well I spotted 6 out of 7, and as a passive scout when you're dealing with tier 4s, you can actually rack up a lot of experience and a lot of credits as well. Well that's it, I hope you enjoyed my mini review of these two fun lower tier premium tanks.